Good day, math learners. Welcome to lesson two, deriving the equation of a hyperbola. Before we begin, do not forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post new video lessons online. This is Teacher Beth, and let's begin! Let us recall the definition of a hyperbola. A hyperbola is the locus of points in a plane whose distances from two fixed points differ by a certain constant. The points are called the foci of the hyperbola. In this illustration, let us try to identify our foci and the point on our hyperbola. So this point here, let this be one of our foci. So this is f sub 1 and this other point here is f sub 2. This is the center of our hyperbola and from the center to our focus, it has a distance of c. And so from this point here up to this one is also c. And so the coordinates of f sub 1 is negative c 0 while the coordinates of f sub 2 is c 0. And so we can say that f sub 1 to f sub 2 has a distance of 2 c. Let this be point p and p has coordinates x y. And from the given definition, we can say that the sequence that connects p to f sub 1 this is p to f sub 1 minus the segment that connects p to f sub 2, this is p to f sub 2, would be equal to a common difference. So if we're going to write that in symbols, then we would have p to f sub 1 minus p to f sub 2 is equal to a common difference. And the common difference, we will let that be equal to 2a. The 2a here will make the computation, the derivation, a lot simply. So let's try to identify the coordinates of these important points. The coordinates of P is x, y. The coordinates of f sub 1 is negative c, 0. And the coordinates of f sub 2 is c, 0. Let's now derive the equation of a hyperbola. So we have P with coordinates x, y. We have f sub 1 with coordinates negative c0 and f sub 2 with coordinates c0. So we know that the segment from p to f sub 1 minus the segment from p to f sub 2 is equal to a common difference and we will let the common difference be equal to 2a. So we can rewrite this one into p to f sub 1 equal to 2a plus p to f sub 2. Using the distance formula, we can have now from p to f sub 1, distance from p to f sub 1, we have x minus negative c, so that's plus c quantity squared, plus y minus 0, that will give us y squared, equal to 2a plus the square root of distance from point p to f sub 2. So we have x minus c, x minus c quantity squared plus y minus 0 that is y squared and squaring both sides of our equation to remove the radical signs here we have uh, let's just directly simplify this we have x squared plus 2cx plus c squared plus y squared equal to this one becomes 4a squared plus 2 times the first and the second term so we have 4a square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared plus the square of the last term which will give us x squared minus 2cx plus c squared plus y squared. Now we can remove terms in the left side and right side of our equation which has the same signs. So we can remove this and this. c squared we can remove and this x squared here but we cannot remove this negative 2cx because it doesn't have the same sign with the 2cx here but we can join them together and so we transpose this term left side of our equation and so we have 4cx 
and we can move this here to the side so minus 4a squared equal to 4a square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared and we divide both sides of our equation by 4 because 4 is their common factor and so we have cx minus a squared equal to a square root of x minus c quantity squared plus y squared now let's proceed squaring both sides of the equation so we can remove the radical sign at the right side of our equation so we square this and we have here c squared x squared minus 2 a squared cx plus a raised to 4 okay and this side here we would have a squared and this radical sign is removed already times we have x squared minus 2 cx plus c squared plus y squared and simplifying this we would have we copy this left side of our equation plus a raised to 4 and we would have here a squared x squared minus 2 a squared cx plus a squared c squared plus a squared y squared and since these two terms have the same sign so we can remove them and maybe we can join this term and this so we have c squared x squared minus a squared x squared and we can also move this here so we have minus a squared y squared and at the right we would have a squared c squared minus this term a raised to 4 and we factor out common terms from our uh, terms here so we can group this first two terms and the common factor is x squared so we would have x squared times c squared minus a squared minus a squared y squared and the side here we could have a squared times c squared minus a, a squared okay so to continue so what we were able to come up with is we have x squared times c squared minus a squared minus a squared y squared equal to a squared times c squared minus a squared and if we let by letting b be equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared greater than zero so we can have a b squared here equal to c squared minus a squared and so we can replace these groups by b squared and so rewriting that we would have b squared x squared minus a squared y squared equal to a squared b squared and if we divide both sides of our equation by a squared b squared we can have x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equal to 1 and this is the equation of our hyperbola in standard form given the foci at negative c0 and c0 so again our b here is equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared and b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared which would tell us that c is greater than a in our equation which was x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equal to 1 we were able to arrive at this equation because we let b be equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared greater than 0 where c was greater than a now using triangle inequality this c greater than a is actually true how if this is our f sub 1 and this is our f sub 2 so from f sub 1 of f sub 2 that's equal to 2c because from the center to this point here measures c units and from this to this point here also measures c units and so if we have f sub 1 to f sub 2 
and we add there P to F sub 2, which is this segment. This is P to F sub 2. If this point here is P with coordinates x, y. And so, this segment would be P to F sub 1. So, basically, F sub 1 to F sub 2 plus P to F sub 2 is greater than P to F sub 1 by triangle inequality. And when we try to manipulate this, we would have F sub 1 to F sub 2 greater than P to F sub 1 minus P to F sub 2. This segment. And since F sub 1 to F sub 2 is equal to 2C, and we know that P F sub 1 minus P F sub 2 is equal to 2A, therefore C is greater than A by triangle inequality. That's it, math learners. I hope you have learned something today as we discussed about the derivation of the equation of a hyperbola. Stay safe always. Bye!